It does not amount to a campaign contribution if it is the kind of payment that could ever be made outside that, of the campaign context. That's not the context. standard. The standard is yes, substantiality. It is. It's not. It's, it's substantiality. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're wrong. Tr okay. No, it's we, not. Well, I guess we're going to have wrong. to agree to There's been to Supreme Court precedent on this. And, Talk to yes, Brad there, Smith, who was the FEC court commissioner. There's been court after court that, 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 that the standard You're is substantiality. Man, Megyn Kelly really has been on fire lately. Last week, she deconstructed Bill Maher's double standards on election denial. And this week, she's not just destroying the media misinformation about the kangaroo court Trump trial, but even changing their minds, which is pretty surprising in this case because it involves Dan Abrams, who's been a leftist media hack going back 20 years. There, there's wrongdoing here, right? There was definitely wrongdoing. Whether it should have been a crime is a separate... What's, no, the what, what the uh, what's, what's the wrongdoing? What's the wrongdoing? All right, number yeah. one, it's paying $130,000 to a porn star to keep her quiet. That's to, to try to that's, protect your campaign. Illegal. Can we at least agree that's, that's wrong? That's not illegal. It's not I illegal. Didn't say it was, no, no, I just said moral versus How is it legal. wrong? You're, are, are we talking moral? I, 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 with, I made it clear. I'm, priest? I'm, I'm making it clear <laughs> for a minute. I'm talking about morality versus legality, right? Why would you be There's talking no about morality versus legality when we're literally talking about political persecution of the sitting president's main opponent before an election? That's the entire point here, that there's no credibility to the supposed legal case against Donald Trump. There's no doubt that he engaged in- All right, I'll tell, here's, here's my response to that. And I said right. this on my show the other day. Um, I don't know what kind of weird marriage these two have. Same as I didn't know what kind of weird marriage Bill and, and Hillary Clinton had. So I don't know what their covenant is in terms of what he's allowed to do on the outside of his marriage. But again, I don't mind the well, sex. Me, but it when would be you're a serious problem. But, but I'm not talking about the sex. I'm talking about the $130,000 to keep her quiet to protect his campaign. There's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing. Really? Okay. Look, I, again... Wait, wait. It, would be, was, if somebody runs for office, they just lose the right to have any privacy. They just have to let us privacy. see all of their dirty laundry from the moment they declare forward or somehow they've done something morally wrong or legally wrong. When you're doing it to protect the campaign and you are spending money on it, then now I'm going to switch back to the legal. You are now crossing the line into no, legal problems. Not. Right? You aren't. That's no, absolutely not right. <laughs> Incorrect and, at and, every and level. Again, <laughs> the idea that that uh, let me let me back up and you don't think he falsified business records either I don't know what he did. I don't think he wrote down. What does down that mean? We just had a whole trial. To we heard did. every let detail of this. How can you not know? Let, let me answer. Please. Let me answer. I don't think he wrote down hush money payment to Stormy Daniels. Nobody who pays hush money would write down such a thing. I think he wrote down, or someone at the Trump Organization wrote down, legal expenses from the drop-down Adobe menu, and that made as much sense as anything else because hush money wasn't an option. Exactly. Trying to call this fraud is another insane leap to try and rationalize everything that's happening here. And apparently, even if Cohen had to report this to the FCC, which a lot of people say he did not have to do, the deadline for that would have been in December after the election. And so if all that's the case, which it is, then how can they claim that the intent was to interfere in the election? I'm going to come back to the FEC here in just a moment, but first let's finish the clip. Paying his lawyer, who had, re who had made the payment to Stormy Daniels, and he was, I believe, reimbursing her, though he denied that, reimbursing him, though he denied that on the stand. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. I think you pay your lawyer money because he outlaid money for you. You could easily classify <coughs> that as a legal expense. No matter what it's for, right? Even if it's illegal conduct, you can just put it, it's in legal expense, right? This wasn't, this wasn't illegal. There's nothing illegal about paying hush money for an no. NDA. It's done there, there's not. all but the But when time. you're doing it to protect your campaign, it is. That's the difference. No, so, yeah. what, law, what law are you citing, Dan? Campaign law? finance laws. You're not allowed to wrong. give the- Wrong, you don't know what you're talking what about. What are you talking, what, you're what, wrong. Explain to me, Let me explain tell, to you. tell me what I'm Let getting wrong. To you. Tell me what I'm getting wrong. You're spending $130,000, that's right. Go ahead. I get it, because you're saying that there are limits to the campaign contributions somebody could make, and this has exceeded them, and then they hit it. I understand. That's his theory. However, th this has been wrong from the start. Yeah. It does not amount to a campaign contribution if it is the kind of payment that could ever be made outside that, right. of the That's campaign context. That's not the contest. standard. The standard is yes, substantiality. It is. It's not. It's, it's substantiality. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're wrong. Tr okay. No, it's we, well, not. I guess we're going to have to agree. To, there's been Supreme to Court precedent on this. And, Talk yeah, to yes, Brad there, Smith, who was the FEC court court commissioner. Court court that, that, you're that, wrong. That, that the standard you're is wrong. substantiality. All right. You got beat up by a girl. Oh, oh, oh. That was great. 
but I don't know if you noticed, but at the end there, she said, talk to Brad Smith, who is the former FEC chairman. There's been Supreme so Court been, precedent on this. Talk there, to yes, Brad there, Smith, who was the FEC commissioner. After. And it's a long read, but you definitely want to see what he had to say. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's take a stab. Falsifying business records under New York law is a misdemeanor, unless done to hide a crime. Bragg says the crime was a violation of the Federal Election Campaign Act or of a New York statute making it illegal to influence an election by, quote, unlawful means. But if the latter, what is the unlawful means? An alleged violation of FECA. So it comes down to FECA. There are two potential violations here. One is an acceptance of an unlawful contribution by the campaign. The other is an incorrect reporting of a contribution by the campaign. Either way, we have to have a campaign contribution. That allegedly occurred when Cohen advanced money to pay the Stormy Daniels settlement. FECA defines a contribution as any payment made for the purpose of influencing an election. The 2016 max legal contribution was $2,700. First, let's clear something up. Cohen just loaned the money. He was paid back and then some. So where some ask is the contribution. But this is not a winner for Trump. Under the law, a contribution includes a loan unless made in the ordinary course of business. But for context, note, there is no limit on how much Trump can contribute to his own campaign. By October 27th, when Daniels was paid, Trump had already spent more than 60 million of his own money on the campaign. It would have been easy for him to toss in another 130,000. Now back to the definition of contribution. If they bought Stormy Daniels silence to influenced an election, what the prosecution alleged, isn't that a contribution and also a campaign expenditure, which mirrors the contribution definition? Well, no. A human. <laughs> First, common sense. We know that the campaign expense is not literally any payment made for the purposes of influencing an election, and reading the statute that way would be way too broad. For example, in 1999, Bill and Hillary Clinton bought a house in New York. One reason they did so was that Hillary could run for U.S. Senate from New York. In other words, the expenditure was clearly done in part for for the purposes of influencing an election. That is completely different. Is it campaign expenditure under FECA? Of course not, common sense. FECA also prohibits using campaign funds for personal use. What is personal use? Under Federal Election Commission regulations and the FEC has primary authority for interpreting the law. It is any obligation that would exist irrespective of the candidacy. Indeed, the FEC regulations make it clear that mixed motive doesn't make something a campaign expense if the obligation would still exist exist irrespective of the campaign. Paying it with campaign funds is personal use and therefore illegal. Certainly, Daniels used the campaign to pressure Trump and for the most money she could. The timing affected the value of her allegations, but the obligation did not exist because Trump was a candidate. It predated his candidacy and was not created by him being a candidate. Let's use common sense again. Is it a campaign expense to pay for a non-disclosure agreement for something arising out of events 10 years earlier and not caused by the act of being a candidate? It is paying hush money a campaign expense? Duh, no. God, that's gotta hurt. And again, this is the former FEC chairman. So none of these things violate FECA, even though they are what we would normally call expenditures, and even though done for the purposes of influencing an election. Again, it's an objective standard, but none of this went to the jury, either as evidence or in its instructions. Instead, the jury heard only from Michael Cohen and the prosecutors, who claimed this was clearly a violation of FECA. In a second thread, I'll explain why there's no FECA reporting violation. And this is a pretty long thread. I did not read the entire thing. I'll put the link for that in the description and pinned comment if you want to read it later. Now back to the exchange between Abrams and Kelly, which I said at the beginning of the video resulted in Abrams actually changing his mind. I say that because this morning he's apparently changed his stance on exactly what the crime is. And by that I mean he admits he has no idea. But on the second question of the jury instructions, yeah, there's some real appellate issues here that are serious questions uh, about why did the defense even know what the charge was that they were going to be applying, what law that was going to be Which applied. of these three underlying laws. Exactly. And, and so there were a lot of questions for the defense going into this, I think, 
as they were making their closing arguments, not even knowing sort of what the law that they were going to be battling over was. This is just, you know, excuse my language, this is completely fucked. The people involved in taking down Trump and rigging our elections are powerful, and they're not going to be stopped easily. They control most of our institutions, including the media, and that is hard to beat. Make no mistake, though, they'll never stop with Trump. They'll go after other Republicans and just regular people like you and me. Trump was not legitimately convicted of anything and every single one of these indictments is an authoritarian attack on this country if you want any hope at all of accountability vote trump no matter what let me know what you think in the comments and if you're still here might as well hit that like button and subscribe i post on a regular basis so keep checking back for more